Ever heard the saying, happy wife, happy life? What about, and they lived happily ever after? How can someone like me go from back-to-back -back abusive relationships to being married two years going on forever? <laughs> Welcome to the mastermind.yoga YouTube channel. I'm Alicia, Afro Yoga, AKA the Yoga Queen. In this video, we will talk about why happy marriages require yoga, even in your conversations, and how you can incorporate them into your life right now. Welcome to the Mastermind Yoga YouTube channel to my yoga lovers and yoga teachers. This is the place where no topic is taboo. We look at the way yoga shows up in life. So that means you're in the right place if you like to explore perspectives. Yes. If you are not already subscribed to the channel, subscribe. Then raise that notification bell so that you can keep up with every time the videos come out. After consecutive abusive relationships, I had to realize I was influencing the outcome of extreme unhappiness. I had to take some time to be in a dedicated relationship with my single ass self prior to being mentally ready to be in a relationship with another person. So that means figuring out what happiness meant to me. And then fast forward to meeting, dating, and living with my now husband. We talk to each other and see each other every single day. And in any given conversation, we could have to come to a conclusion about something. And even though we love each other, we don't always see eye to eye. We are two different people. The problem is in many relationships, in many conversations, they can involve emotional overreaction, angrily raised voices, and manipulation. You want to go out to eat? So what, you don't want me to cook? You don't like my cooking now? Oh, okay. I won't cook for your ass anymore then. PB and J got you now or whatever. No, I don't care if you only wanted to give me a break. You know what? I don't even know why I'm surprised. You grew up on a Happy Meal diet. Like, did your parents ever cook? Yelling, blaming, and being so intent on making someone feel lesser than does not get you a happy relationship. It does the opposite. Take it from someone who knows. There is a possibility for calm, no argument marriages. Nah, that doesn't mean that you have to go along with everything just because you don't want to fight. That would only lead to resentment and pent up anger. That could explode any day like a ticking time bomb. <laughs> a happy marriage conversation. I'm talking about a conversation between two people, because that's my experience, who desire a resolution that benefits you both. So that does require that you two have similar goals and values, so you can come to a conclusion. Experts say that you need to speak from I feel dot, dot, dot. They say to be solution-based instead of trying to hurt each other's feelings or tear each other down. That's all great, and what I say is yoga. All of the techniques and everything, they don't really work without the yoga. Back in the day, when a conversation got heated, I could feel it in my body because I practiced yoga. 
so much. I know when my body feels calm. And so I learned that when I'm angry, I feel heat in specific places. And it feels different than the calm feeling. Because of this self-connection, I can identify when I don't like the way a discussion is going. I notice that I'm raising my voice or he's raising his voice and it doesn't feel good. Immediately, even if I'm mid-sentence or mid-word, I take a deep breath or three, depending. Then I restart with those techniques. I feel dot, 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 or I desire dot, dot, dot. And that's where I can use the techniques. I have to recognize what's going on first. So the whole mood and direction of the conversation can shift easily with breath. And when I focus on the desired outcome, it does take some practice and it is doable. Because if I can do it after my family history where everyone is on their second or third spouse, except me and my siblings, then surely you can learn this skill for a happy relationship. It did help me to see it happen. In real time, I saw it during my first yoga training and I took it with my teachers Albina and Roger Rippey in Texas. And I saw the way they talk to each other, the way they work things out. And that was like, ding, ding, ding. So if you're a C then do person like me, when you learn the best, you can literally watch me and Carl's relationship. And we can watch our vibes in our show, Money, Yoga, and Guns on Afro Vibes Television. It's on Roku and they have an Afro Vibes app. It is for mature audiences only because we're pretty wild. So don't have the children in the room, especially our earlier episodes. <laughs> Yogi friends, thanks for watching to the end. I value your perspectives and I love questions. So please do comment any that come up for you, any that you have, any recommendations, any thoughts. And I'm happy to see them and respond. Black yogis matter. We are changing the world one shirt at a time. Be a part of the movement, a part of the revolution, and get your shirt in the description below.